My name is Professor Naomi Allen and I'm the Chief Scientist for UK Biobank. So first of all, thanks for all of your help so far with our coronavirus antibody study, which will enable large scale population research into the long term effects of coronavirus infection on health, so called long COVID. Following on from that study, we're inviting participants who've tested positive on the home based lateral flow test and who've been vaccinated to take part in another study which will provide a small amount of blood that we can send off to a laboratory to help us determine whether the antibodies that you've produced as a result of vaccination or as a result of natural infection. This is because the lateral flow tests that you took detect antibodies that are produced either following a vaccination or from a previous infection and so we can't distinguish between the two. The laboratory test, however, specifically tests for antibodies that are only produced following an infection. So the vast majority of you, about 90%, will receive an email from us saying that you have a negative antibody test result. So this means it's highly unlikely that you've been infected with the coronavirus um, over the last six months or so. About 10% of you will receive a positive antibody test result. This means it is likely that you've previously been infected with coronavirus over the last six months or indeed longer, um, depending on how long antibodies last in your blood at a high enough level to be detected by the test. So in summary, the majority of you, about nine in 10 of you, would have received a positive test on the home-based lateral flow test as a result of antibodies being produced from the vaccination but you'll have a negative antibody test result from the laboratory test that only detects antibodies following um, a previous infection. So I hope that helps to explain the differences between the kits and the likely differences between the results of these tests. And thank you once again for providing yet another blood sample for us and the data that you're helping to generate um, will provide a resource to enable um, unique long-term research into the effects of long COVID. So thank you very much.